and no board, marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play and no board, marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play and no board, marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play and no board, marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling. Me for John Wayne, Laura, play in the board, marital quarreling. Me for John Wayne, Laura, play in the board, marital quarreling. Me for John Wayne, Laura, play in the board, marital quarreling. Me for John Wayne, Laura, play in the board, marital quarreling. Me for John Wayne, Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Laura, play in the board. Marital quarreling, me for John Wayne. Marital quarreling all through the night, yeah. Drew and Laura, a meeple grande. No small meeples in the meeple grande crew, yeah, yeah. It's meeple grande. It's meeple grande.
Hello. Hey. I'm not in the right spot. No, you are. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, I could move over just a little. And that's I'm fine. used to being on that side for one, so I'm gonna have to learn how to look at the camera again. Yeah, I think the um, the <laughs> camera's off a little bit again. Probably. Yeah. Hi, Wim. Hi, Kalisma. Hi, Tiny. Hey, everybody. So, um, today we're doing another Kickstarter preview. Um, this one's a little uh, newer and lesser known than the the other ones that we've done. Mm -hmm. Um, but nonetheless, it still needs to be seen because yeah. it's it's a it's an awesome little card game that I mean anybody could play this one. Yeah, it's that's awesome how, that the designer is um, a college kid. So yep, being start, in college and starting your own Kickstarter at one time is pretty exciting. Start them young. <laughs> also, <Hey>. also, <laughs> um, if you check their Instagram, it's Instagram, Instagram? page. Um, he does some awesome Warhammer painting. I checked it out earlier, and my god, the talent out of this one. Um, go check it out. I think Moobot has the uh, checkout command if anyone wants to throw that in there. I could probably do well, it. Well, we'll see if Moobot wants to work. We'll see. With an uh, exclamation. Yes. And then uh, check out. Checkout. Yes. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so we've got the the um instagram website's on there and people is this rating <laughs> <laughs> also the artist for this game is on there as well if you want to check her out um yay mark with the red hey mark um i'm seeing it Later than you because I'm watching it on my phone. I know. That's, that's still hard to get used to. I'm used to. to that part of streaming. I'm not used to it being instant on my side. Yeah. Um, so you get the... Um, I, get the you, yeah, I get the instant. Yeah, you get the instant version there. Hello, Princess Misty. That's uh, funny because that's my name on the game now. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. And people's. I love that they have those little things now. They're so cool. Yeah, those are really cool. So glad you guys have that set up like that. It's it's neat to see it. Yeah. In the chat, especially when it's in dark mode, which my phone is not. Why is your phone not in dark mode? I have my phone on dark mode. On everything. I don't know. How do you do? If it you in... ever have a, an update, it changes it too. How do you? How do you put it in dark? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's something in the settings. Yeah, it's in the settings. I'm not going to deal with it right now. Yeah, we got to play a game. What we are going to do is play this awesome little game, which is supposed to go live um, mid-May to early June uh, around there. So we yeah. don't have a link to the Kickstarter yet, but uh, we'll keep you updated on that. Mm -hmm. um, so this game is called Key Hunters, and it's by uh, Large Key Games, a very new company very new creator um like i said lots of awesome artwork um on this game uh lots of awesome art being done on uh warhammer figures Tommy says on hi, instagram cyclops. oh am i still cyclopsies here <laughs> no that's that even game. worse we played that game on monday yeah cyclops <laughs> all right cyclops yes <laughs> um so uh, we we don't have anything really um important to talk about besides this game right now right no um this will be a, a quick uh part one to the stream because yeah. we're gonna play something after this as well yeah so the um creator is caleb mon i hope i did not butcher your name probably um but it's a very simple game, um, very easy to learn, and it's it's variable on the player count. Yeah. Because you can play with what? <laughs> that means like, where's my entry? I told you, I they're was all take gone. That stuff off. Um, two when to I six. Give away something, then I'll put it on there. Two to six players can play this game. However, if you have a very large group, you can buy two copies and then double. The player count so you can play with a huge group of people which is great for a college kid well yeah college <laughs> kid 
college game, you sit around the table just talking about stuff and unlocking treasure chests and winning while everyone else is just, you know, Sad. telling stories. <laughs> okay. So let's say we get to, um, get to play in this game. Yep. Boop. There we go. I have sound effects. All right. So very little table space happening here. Um, <laughs> Tiny says, can one player play four players at once? Yeah, you can. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the whole point of this game is that we are key hunters. Okay, and we are trying to hunt for the keys to open up this treasure chest. What's in it? Don't know. It's totally up to you what's in it. Um, it could be anything. Uh, it could be nothing. Um, that, that's how treasure chests go. Um, now, initially, the, the locks are set at 10. All right, and this is what we're going to use. It comes with the game. Yeah. Um, this is a D10. And during the game, we're going to each have a hand of three cards. Um, first thing you do on your turn is to draw up to three. Yeah. And you play a card. A lot of these cards are going to allow you to find a key and unlock one of these locks. Other cards are going to add locks to the chest. So that way you can sort of um, stop your opponent from unlocking it too early. Um, there's not much take that in this, except for that fact is if your opponent's getting down to unlocking this treasure chest, you can just go, no, you're not. I'm going to add locks to this thing. Am I missing a lot of stuff? No. <laughs> I just like that I'm typing under your name, <laughs> but I'm still me. Oh, I know. That's so weird. <laughs> I, I'm seeing my name on there. I'm like, wait, I didn't type that. True tonight. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, so that's it. the 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 end of the game is um. Whoever unlocks this chest first gets to win um whatever's in there, and at the end you have to tell everyone what's in there. Okay. Okay. Um. There are a whole bunch of different variants. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. <laughs> But there's a whole bunch of different ways to play in this game. I haven't looked at the art, all the art on this yet, but I just found a, a card I really like. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so the artwork is... Um, I want to get the name right. I, I up. hope to get the name right. Um, the artwork is made by Jazz Lynn. Um, now, Moobot has the link to Jazz Lynn's Instagram if you want to check her out, or or them. Sorry, I have to do pronoun stuff. I got to get used to that. Um, yeah, check them out. Um, see what they're all about. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You you uh, pick a player to start the game, and then you alternate turns back and forth, uh, drawing th up to three cards. At the start of your turn. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a horrible hand. Um, now you cannot add locks past 10. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, unless you want to play that way, that's up to you. You can <laughs> you can set a d20. Tammy says I'm snacking on spicy jalapeno Frito scoops and hot bean dip. I'm going to be deadly later. <laughs> Wow. I hope you're not streaming. <laughs> Call me a pooty stream. Um Is is there a way that I can No. Switch my hand out for something else. <laughs> no. Because I didn't get such such a good hand here. <laughs> um Well I did read in the rules that you can always uh do table rules. Like house rules, table rules. Yep. That's stupid. House, house rules. House rules. <laughs> <laughs> Words can't do one. Um, we can house rule it that you can uh, discard your hand if you're going first. 
Okay. Draw three new cards. Um, well, you are going first, so you can go ahead and do what yeah, you're going to do. Yeah, depending on what I play, it might be Yeah, so we'll have do. the discard pile right underneath here. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to skip the players next turn. What? Already? <laughs> oh, we're getting raided again. <laughs> so this is no, some right. of the art for this game here. Um, I know plenty about bad hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm an expert at bad hands. So this is some of the art. Um, apparently this guy is not having a good day. Nope. Uh, you're skipping my turn. I am. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's a good start. So my turn goes and... I draw after three. Right? Because yep. it's my turn again? Yep. Okay. She's already up to... Or tricks. I'm gonna play a ring of keys, subtract three locks. Ring of keys. Now here, she found a ring of keys. All I could think of was Lord of the Rings. Now we've got the <laughs> card name on the top here. We've got a plus or minus um number here. This is the amount of keys that are either added or subtracted mm -hmm. to the locks. And um then it tells you on the bottom what it does. Ten, eight, seven, poof. So, so was it Vri song that raided? Yes. Thanks for the raid, Vri. Yeah, see, you can't see it on your phone, right? Oh, I can see it. Sometimes it doesn't pop up on my phone when things happen. Hey, how are you? What were you doing? What were you playing? I guess I can learn how to do... Boom, boom. Uh, yep. No, I did the wrong way. Yes. There you go. That worked. It's funny. I can do it like on my. Uh, <laughs> I can there do it go. on there, my phone all the there's time. There's a doing shout like, out to you. Doing it on the uh, computer is different. Um. So you subtracted three locks. Yep. So right now it takes seven mm -hmm. to unlock that chest right there. Yep. Um, I am going to play extra lock because, uh, I mean, it's the only thing I can do. <laughs> so this is going to add a lock to the chest. So that's going to go back up to eight. If I can find the eight. It's like a, uh... yeah. There you go. Uh, yep. And you only draw a card at the start of your turn. I'm going to play a large key, subtract two locks. Hey, Joe. What's up? Hey. It's been a long time. Yeah. I want to play their games again. It'd be something I could Twitch do. is being stupid on your stream computer today, so we're gonna switch computers. Be right back. Okay. No problem. We're subtracting two. What? Yep. Down to six. Down to six. Um. That's a nine. That's a nine. Right there. Sorry, it's been a while since I've handled a D ten. Alright, your turn. My turn. I get to draw a card. Okay. Um. I'm going to play extra lock. Why are you being mean? And that's going to add a lock to this. Um, okay. I believe it's seven. Yep. And that's it. So the turns on here are very quick, very fast. There's very little downtime. Skip. Except when you get skip um, in a two-player game. Force the player to discard their hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a, a a whip. Yep. Force one player to discard their hand. Okay. None for you. Now you're your turn. Now it's my turn. All right. So what did I get? Ooh. Okay. I got some really cool cards here. Uh, we're at seven currently. I don't know if you're gonna mess 
anything up later, so I'm gonna do this combo move right now. Drew wanted to know if he could draw a new hand of cards. Yeah. I told him a little house rule that he could have discarded his hand at any point. Yeah, so guys, check this combo out. It's it's probably a little too early. I should probably save this, but I don't know what you have in your hand. I know what I have. I don't know if you're going to discard my hand again. <laughs> um, but I'm going to throw a stick of dynamite at you. Well, that's terrible. That's deadly. Okay, so this stick of dynamite, um, subtract one lock and play another card. So we're down to six again. Okay, I return to the good computer. Yay! Whoop! Kamala says it is built into the game. Yeah, he found out he could. Yeah, I house ruled it. Or, you know, table <laughs> ruled it because I can't word. <laughs> so I get to play another card. Yep. So I'm going to play the pistol. So first you blow me up and then you shoot me? Yes. That's it's a uh, double tap. That's what that's called. Subtract one lock and skip the next player's turn. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay, so it's a five. Is she looking at me bad? Like weird? I think she's looking at me weird. So we're skipping your turn. I'm gonna draw up to three. Yep. Um, all right, so give me something I can use. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna play treasure map. So this allows me to draw a card. If it's a type, any type of key, play it. Any type of key? Okay. Yep. Uh, it's a pistol. Is that a type of key? No. Well, I mean, probably. What does it say? Subtract a key. Subtract a, uh, Subtract one a lock, lock and then skip the next player's turn. Does that count? This two definitely side-eyed in the side claps. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that if it's a key, no, it, it has to be not. a key. Okay. Yeah. That would have been cool, lock. though. That would have been cool, though. Pistols are not keys. Oh. I mean, they, they could be. Yes. No. I guess it has to be a uh, a key. I am also going to play that card. Keyword key. Dang it. <laughs> oh, another treasure map? Yeah. Oh. All right. It's getting down to it. Uh-oh. I don't like uh-ohs. I'm going to play large key. Keys are keys, pistols are danger. Yeah. I'm going to play large key. Um, the art on this is pretty funny. Check that guy out. He's like, what am I going to do with this giant key? Bree says, couldn't you use my super cool raid message? Because my streaming computer was stupid. Oh. It's okay. It's always next time. I'm always here. Subtract two locks. No. <laughs> um. Flip it. Okay. Uh, is there a D10 that has the numerical, like, um, ascending and no, descending in the right... It's, um, it's a D10, so if you well, add... Well, like, they have certain D20s for life counters that, yeah, that do that. Yeah, are not that way. I'm just asking. Cosma is cuddling. That's what I'm going to change it to. It's so lurking. It's going to be cuddling. Go cuddle the meeples. My turn. Um, oh look, things happen. Cheers! Thank you, Bree. Uh, she's not cuddling. She launches a coffee bean. No, no beans. Why did you throw a bean at yourself? Doing five damage. Ouch. Mm. Subtract one. Subtract one. Uh oh. Mhm. Mm so we're down to two. Yep. Uh. Sounds like trouble, or am I bluffing about trouble? Um, Derp. <laughs> okay, so I think I just won this. Uh, I'm gonna play large key. Okay. Subtract two locks. Sorry. So this brings it down to zero, which is not on the die. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no zero on this one, so it shouldn't be. It's a ten sided day. That's fine. So there you go. Um, I have unlocked this chest, and inside is a whole bag of rotten burritos. No, 
discuss what time we're going to snow like later. I should have. <laughs> I should have let you win that one. Oh, I, I should have. Yeah. My last two cards were subtract ones. Subtract ones. You want to play yeah. one more time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is a couple of things that I want to say about this game. Uh, not only is it super simple, but high player counts are probably way more fun than just playing two players. Um, Large because you love rotten burritos. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Well, college kids, are you? <laughs> no, but they're rotten. Come yeah. on, stop throwing tacos at our, or tacos, gosh, I'm on the wrong channel. Stop throwing beans at our guest. So yeah, the cards are, are pretty cool. Um, I like the artwork on them. It's simple, but it gets to the point. It gets you to the point of yeah. what the cards are. Um, a couple of different color backgrounds would be cool, especially for the keys. Maybe the keys sh could be a golden background sort of thing. Um, this is still, you know, uh, I don't know if this is prototype or if it's the final product. That's yeah. still... I think we've got to find out, but no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, Bree said no. Our key, key games is I'll take what you get. You know, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it's not how we play this game. Although I do like the green backing. Um, green is probably one of my favorite colors. <laughs> That's funny that you said that because Time Lord just says looks like green is the theme. Yeah. Your um, brain sink tiny. Yeah. I do <laughs> like the green color. Um, that color is really easy on my eyes, and I really like it. Um, however, having golden keys in your hand uh, would, would, be a, would be a bit cool to have. You know, yeah. just different color backgrounds for the, the cards that they are. But it's, it's not essential. Like, it's, no. it's a quick party game. So we're not going to... like, I like green. Yeah. You won, you go first. Uh, okay. Um, I guess the only thing I can really do is subtract one lock, so that goes down to nine. Bree says, hey, all colors are valid. And large key games is true. And time we said, except purple. Except purple. <laughs> no purple. No. Uh, Alright, yeah. Subtract another one. Also, if you guys want a suggestion, which would be really cool, um, in addition to the actual card chest get, um, card, you can sort of make the box part of the game. If that's something you can um, do. Uh, make the box the chest, you know? I mean, it's holding all the cards and the keys, so it kind of makes sense. And it would be pretty neat. It'd be, it'd be pretty cute, especially if um, you can get maybe a box that opens from the top. Like a treasure chest. Like a treasure chest sort of thing. With the cards inside. That would be awesome. Or it could be a Kickstarter um you know thing. Yeah. You know, just throwing out ideas, stuff that we've seen on I other like Kickstarters. Boxes. <laughs> that was fussy. Ooh, that was I purple. like that. That would be a great idea. Yeah. yeah. See? I'm good for something. No. Um <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna play another large key. No. So that's minus two. I don't like this. Um, so I'm down to seven. I think the hardest part of this game is actually finding the number on the dice. It's not because a die for is me. You subtract and for me, you, and that's where the number is. For me. <laughs> well, I can't tell dice designers from 500 years ago to change their design for you. No, you're right. But I'm trying to say the hardest part of this game is finding the yeah. number on the... Ah. Mm. That's what I get. I'm going to use my tool belt. What? Yeah, I'm going to add one. Why? You're trying to open it. No, you are trying to open it. Who's the fight? Yeah, there are so many beings going around in the chat right now. It's ridiculous. It's your turn. Yes, it is. Yeah, three. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you again. That's terrible. With the pistole. You can get countdown dice that the numbers go in order. You use them for magic gathering and such. I've only seen them in D20 though. 
I've never seen him in D anything else. D anything else. <laughs> Um, I I know that they have them. Um, they're they're different than regular dice. They they don't really have that randomization to it. But it's it's, it's more about counting though. down. Um, There's a science behind dice, even like G20s. How the numbers. So are. we're skipping your turn. It's going back to me. Uh ooh, this is different. I'm gonna save this one. Um, however, I am going to subtract another lock. No. So that's six. Sorry. Discard your hand. Oh, come on. No, you said you had something nice, so I used it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to show what I had because <laughs> cause it would have been cool to use. Would have been really cool to use. So I've got this strange contraption. Oh. Um, it it allows you to roll the die, and that is the new number of locks left. Is that a um? What is that game? The the game the kids game with the trouble. Yes, that's a trouble. <laughs> that's, that's the center cheap. of a like trouble that. uh game. You just you just, yeah you just press it down and just the dice pop up and. Oh gosh, the game gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> Look, if you want real randomization, that's that's what it was. That's what it was about. It's your turn. Is I it? Just, yeah, because I just I played the card to make you just get a dice proper. That's what games should come with. The ones that have dice, just like one of those dice boppers. You press <laughs> down boppers? and then up. The, We're yeah. like named in so many different things. Phantom says, dang, Misty No Chill. And Phanix says, this game needs more take that. What? I've made him discard his hand like five uh, times. So I'm going to shoot you with a pistol for that and last move. And he keeps move. shooting me. So subtract one and skip the next player's turn. So this is five. I it says you could buy pro dice poppers. Oh. No, I want the kids one. I want to get buy the trouble game and then just rip that one out. Oh, gosh. It's Aggression. So I skipped your turn. So yeah. I draw again. Please keep shooting me. Oh boy. I'm going to play treasure map. Draw a card. If it's any type of key, play it. Oh, it's another treasure map. I swear. I shuffled. You watched me. So we do, <laughs> we do discard for that draw, correct? I assume so because you can't use it. We don't take that in our hand if it's not a key. That's what I'm saying. Boop. Dynamite. Or do we? Do we what? It says to draw the card and play it if yeah, it says a key. If it is any type of key, play it. It doesn't yeah. say to discard it afterwards. If it's not. Mm, I get to play another card. So, I assume you discard it because it's it's an action you're playing on the card. Timer says draw means take it. Huh? Yeah. All right, Phantom. We'll see you later. Oh, I've always okay. kept it in my hand, but house rules always go. Timer told me not to assume. Oh. I'm chicken. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't mind playing it as that. Um, it's playing an action. Timer says draw means take. Play means play and discard means discard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it better that way. So you're you you're it gives you a bit of um, There's another game that's like that. Um where like if you draw a card and it's not what you're supposed to play, you discard it. But uh, I mean all there's a lot are of, the same. There's a lot of game mechanics that go that way. Yeah. Um that's why I assume that. That sort of brings a little bit of push your luck into it. Yeah. Um but if you keep it then the push your luck kind of goes away. I would assume that you have to discard it because you're showing it to everybody else and everybody's going to know what you have in your hand. Yeah, it it just makes sense to me to discard it. Yeah. But you can play it any way you want. I mean, yeah. that's that's how the point this is goes. It fills a place in your hand if it's not a key. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to play another treasure map. Oh, son of a... <laughs> and we're just going to keep playing the way we have been. Um, it is a key. Yep. So you play it. So I must play it. Mm -hmm. Subtract one lock. So we're down to two. Oh, that's not good. Flip. 
That is not good. I'm drawing two cards. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And boom. Oh, uh, you got the large key. I, I just drew that. <laughs> All right, so you've unlocked the treasure chest. So what is in it? Tickets to Origins, where I'm going in a month and a half. <laughs> um, I assume those tickets are expired <laughs> tickets. No, because I buried it last um, week. <laughs> th this chest looks very old. It, no. <laughs> It was buried in my so, yard very poorly. So that looks, I don't dig holes. <laughs> that looks very old. To have Origins tickets in there uh, means that they are very outdated. <laughs> no. It's my badge. I win. Um, they're talking about dismembering. <laughs> you want to do best of three? There you go. Um, the treasure chest is somewhere in oh, there. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I just take that? That was stupid. Well, it should be in one of the first few cards. I mean, it could one be. Okay. <laughs> it was in the middle. Yeah. So this is where the um, the treasure chest box would come in handy. <laughs> just saying. Hey, yeah. T-Walt. There you go. Panic, shut up. Large key says, woohoo, well done for a win on both excellent treasure. Yes. Origins is a uh, gaming, a board gaming con in Ohio in June. And we will be there. Uh, well, Panic's the one that asked what, what's Origins. He, he I know, but it, Large key said excellent dot the dot treasure. Yeah, I wanted to know what treasure was in there. I know, I said. Okay. But I I assume from the dot 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 they weren't sure what Origins was. Oop. Uh, so, Tom Miller says, random treasure cards with a listed uh, difficulty 6 to 10 would be cool for playing multiple rounds. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that could be some Kickstarter extras that can be put in there. Origins is where you're from, your origin story. Oh. I'm just thinking on those burritos. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, draw your cards. Um, so yeah, um, that could actually be a single single player mode, having a card with the treasures on them. Seeing maybe how many cards it takes to to do it. I, I don't know. I mean, time a lot of our gamer group are solo players, so that might be something nice to add. All right, I won first because I won, right? Yeah. I'm um, skipping. Dude, really? Yeah. And then I will subtract the lock. Mm, poop. Okay. So you skip me, subtract the lock. Very good. There are a single player mode in development. Uh, there is a single player mode in development. Well, awesome. Sweet. Time you sold now. <laughs> there you go. Um, I want to save this, but last time I said that, you got rid of my hand, so I'm scared. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Let's undo your turn That's and terrible. play uh, extra lock. So it's going to go back up to 10. Okay. All right, so this takes all the treasure, the burritos. And the tickets to Origins that are overdue. I have to or expired. Mulligan. Your mulligan? There's a mulligan rule? <laughs> we made it earlier. All of my things were at a lock and I couldn't do them. All three of my cards were at a lock. Oh, I didn't know there was a mulligan rule. I was joking about it. There is for me. I told you. Table rule. Remember when I messed that part <laughs> up? <laughs> you didn't officially announce that rule. I did. You, you did not. Time Warlord's like, but I don't play games solo. I play them alone. Time Warlord. You know what I mean. All right. Subtracting a lock. So let's go Good. down to nine. What's better, solo or alone? Mm, I mean, it kind of depends. Uh, subtract. Skip. Subtract one lock and skip the next player's turn. Mm -hmm. So you just shot me with a. Uh, yeah, I finally got to shoot you. The pistol. Nice. Well, 
Oh, oh God. No, don't look at that. All right, so you're... Skip. You're just skipping my turn again? Yep. So I'll just lay my cards down? Discard your hand. What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That sucked. <laughs> Not only did I have a ring of keys, which is minus three locks... No, but I also forget. had a large key, which is minus two, so I had minus five nope. locks in my hand. This guy. Dude, that was gross. <laughs> you have done that to me every single time. Okay, it's your turn now, though. I can't believe that. I can. Have you played with me? Yeah, but that's. <laughs> All right, let's play a treasure chest. Uh, draw a card. If it is any type of key, play it. Sorry. Um, it is a single key. No. So it's going to go down to seven. Okay. I think is one side seems to be odd and the other side seems to be even. All right, it's Are you being serious right now? Because <laughs> no. I'm going to pause the stream. We're having a conversation. I'm blowing you up. Hello, Wacky. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then I get to play another card. Yeah. And so, two. so you use TNT to um, unlock a lock and then skip my turn, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? What? No, I used TNT. And play another card. Okay, another you play card. another card. There you go. Because I was in shock right there. Shock. Um, okay, so let me start my turn. Oh, let me do a, another treasure map. Let's see what's underneath here. Uh, it's another treasure map. Oops. It's getting down to it. There's, wow. Are you going to shoot me? And unlock the turn. unlock the lock and skip my turn. Oh, I want to play it. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> that is Whoa. so bad for me. <laughs> no. I want for me to want to stupid. I don't like that card. All right, so you play the <laughs> the strange contraption, roll the die. That is a new number of locks, and you rolled a one, which is... I thought it was a seven at first, and I was like, sweet, and I was like, no, that's a one. Um, Thank you for doing that, Timey. You know what? No. I think... Don't do it. Don't win. Nobody wants ugly burritos. What? Large Key Games said that they like burritos. No. Not nasty so ones. That was... These are frozen burritos. Nobody wants those. Okay, look. I want tacos. Okay, look. The first chest had the, the rotten burritos, burritos. The bad burritos. Okay. You had the... Um, origin badges. The origin badges that were They weren't expired. expired. They were I don't expired. dig in the garden. They were expired. <laughs> no. Okay. So... Let's open this chest and see what's in it. Taco Bell tacos. Gross. Oh. So there you go. That's a large <laughs> key that is unlocking this chest. Wacky says, I'll just... I'll take just about any burrito. All right. So we're going to open this chest. And what is in it? Oh, no. They're BLTs without the bacon. Oh, that's a lit sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry all my treasures were about food, but... Are you hungry? I am very I hungry. I ate before a stream for once. <laughs> BLTs without the bacon. That's sad. We bought bacon today, too. Why didn't you put bacon on them? Uh, oh, man, it's just going to be soggy lettuce bread. Yep. Ugh. With um, really, really... Moldy tomato. Mm, yeah, moldy mayo in it. Oh, no. Yeah, BLT is cut with mayo. No, not in my world. And they go bad very quickly. Oh, why? Now I don't want uh, to. But you know what? It's a perfect pair for the uh, rotten burritos. That's gross. Nobody you can sort that. of put the burritos. I wanted a BLT before you started talking about it. Put the burritos in between the bread <laughs> and have yourself one sick 
meal. No, oh, it's a sick sandwich. Um, <laughs> I don't know where <laughs> that was going. That was gross. Now um, I don't want dinner. Maybe some of you have better imaginations than I do. Um, here you go. Key Hunters by Large Key Games. Um, going live somewhere between mid-May to early June. We'll uh, keep you guys updated on Instagram and all the good stuff. Yeah. So, um, so what do you think of the gameplay and and everything about it? I like making you just curse your hand. Yeah. You, <laughs> you need more. Take that in it, says everybody. Yeah. More. Take that. Um, Shooting people and taking their turn is great. I like that part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's um, like, oh, is that a flash ring? Oh, well, let me take a turn for yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the take that in is just enough to be fun and not really hinder anyone from winning. Yeah. Um, the balance in this game is pretty good. Um, you've got adding locks, subtracting locks. Um, if you want to go to the simple. face cam. Yeah. I can't believe I just said that. I know, it's amazing. To you. Me. Yeah, um, really balanced take that. Um, except for you, you just kind of got all the good ones. Um, however, at the end, you played that contraption and it worked against you. Yeah. So I... I yeah, that was so bad. I yeah. was like, roll high. Yeah. So that card is really fun. I liked it. Um, it adds a, a, adds a bit of push your luck on that one too. Yeah. So it's good. Um, like I said, artwork is is great. Um, different colored cards would would be pretty cool with it. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. Though. No, it's I mean, not. It's not. But a lot a of people, a lot of people enjoy cards that pop with color. Yeah. Um, some people don't. Um, this is also colorblind friendly, really, the way it is. Yeah, exactly. If you um, throw more colors, and yeah. it's gonna not be colorblind friendly. Well, not really. I mean, it could go either way. The colors are just sort of there to be. To I be see there. green as you're digging for treasure. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Other than that, the gameplay is really easy. Um, it's really nice that the die comes in because not yeah. everybody has a die laying around. Yeah, you get the die with the game, which is good. Um, you don't have to go looking through your board games for an extra dice. Oh gosh, don't do that at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> The game comes with a whole bunch of different variations, and you yep. can play it the way you want. Mm -hmm. um, it even says it in the rules. Yeah, it's on the back page. It's versatile. You get an extra, extra uh, game, and you can play with up to twelve people. I mean, heck, if you get a third game, you could play with up to twenty-four people. Can you imagine the table playing with twenty-four people? No, that would be insane. I don't know that many people. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, a whole bunch of different variants you can play with. Um, yep. Yeah. It's, it's a really nice, simple um, party game. Yeah. Using cute. cards. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Large key games. In a small box. In a very small <laughs> box. So, so there you go. Yep. So that's going to wrap it up for this. We're going to go to a uh, break screen real quick and come back and play something else. Yeah, stick around, and thank you, Large Key Games, for sending us this delightful card game. Yeah, we absolutely liked it. We loved it. It was great. Yeah.